What's up everyone, this is CyberNut, and today I'm going to open up the brand new uh, Big and Collectibles Yu-Gi-Oh! Monthly Subscription Crate for July 2018. So yeah, this is the newest crate that has been released. We got this one a little bit early. That's because uh, when these are sent out and everything too, they include the newest products for whatever month it is until, uh, you know, up until the 18th of that month. So that's when they ship them out. So this, of course, will include things like the starter deck, which was uh, just released this week. And uh, probably that Battles of Legend would be my other guess on this, too. So remember, if you want to get this exact crate like what I got, uh, order before the 18th, because then if you are after the 18th, it will be the August crate. So I guess that will include Cybernet Horizon probably, too. So let's go on ahead, open this up, and uh, see what we get. Also, of course, too, uh, Bing Collectible sent me this to an opening on, and I'll have a link to them down in the description if you guys want to... Check it out for yourself. I think these are really cool to open up, though. And uh, they kind of do like a subscription thing, like the name suggests. Where it's kind of like Loot Crate, then, or, or something like that. Kind of like one of those boxes. So first off, of course, we have the starter deck. This is like the newest product right now. So we've already done opening on it, but I'll open this up again. It's pretty good, though, too. Not bad. Starter decks usually don't have the best reprints. This actually has some pretty good new cards for Cyvers, though. It has some pretty good reprints, too. Then after that, we have some Battles of Legend packs. So, yeah, I'm hoping I get Golden Castle. I don't know. I've had some okay luck with this set and then some not-so-okay luck. So, we'll see. I still haven't gotten Golden Castle at all. I think some people are still trying to, to do that. And I've heard it's like one per case, or that's from what I've seen. So, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how true that is. Do I really need enough for this? There we go. Of course, we have a mystery pack here as well. What's in this? Feels like a special edition or something. Yep, <laughs> I guess right. Flames of Destruction Special Edition. So I don't know if you're always going to get that one, but that was what's in my mystery pack. So I believe it can always be different. Is that everything? Making sure. Yeah. Because in the past they've had like dice and different things too. So we'll go with the Special Edition first. Why not? Also, that is obviously everything out of the box. So I'm going to set that to the side. I like to keep those a lot of times to uh, store my cards in. It does come in handy. So for our promo cards... We have one, a World Legacy's Memory, and then a Morning Glacia, the Elemental Lord. Whoa, are we going to focus? There we go. <laughs> All right. It did not want to focus on it for a second. But, yeah, pretty good promos on that one. Morning Glacia is probably the best promo out of those, just because it was like the highest dollar card that uh, got a reprint. Let's see if we can get. We're guaranteed at least a hollow in each pack. At least a super rare, I should say. Well, we have Wind Up Zen Maintenance. There we go. There's my spirit card for this set. Super rare. As well as Trickstar Bokeh. Uh, Prototron. Not bad. Alright, I have another one. Maybe we get like some Nightmare cards or something, right? That's what I'm always asked for from this set. I pretty much got everything from this set, though, that I'm looking for, which I'm, I'm thankful about because uh, Severnic Horizons are right around the corner. Okay, what do we have? And a Rainbow Refraction. Super rare. So yeah, it's one with Rainbow Dragon on it. Pretty cool. And also we got a good rare card. This one is uh, F.A. Dark Dragster. This is still kind of tough to get, so it's a good rare. And uh, Waking the Dragon. There we go. That's a good comment, by the way, too. There's actually some hype going around with this card, I think, still. It's a pretty fun trap card. You get to special summon a monster uh, from your extra deck using it, so you can use cards that you normally wouldn't with your deck. So you can use, like, the, the Raid Raptor XC monster a lot of people are going for, or... Uh, uh, Naturally Exterior. That was another one that a lot of people were trying out. So, it's a pretty fun trap card. And it's a common, so not too tough to get. And Link Bound for our last one. So, unfortunately, all Super Rares. Man, FA Winners as well. And, yeah, unfortunately, that Special Edition wasn't too great for me. That's kind of how Flames of Destruction Special Editions have been, though, for me. I haven't had the best luck with them. Don't know why. And uh, let's go with the Battles of Legend. Sure. We're, everything's holographic out of Battles of Legend, by the way. So you get a secret rare at the beginning, and then four ultra rares. So what do we have? It is uh, one of the Phantom Knights. So the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. That's pretty good. Can't wait for the new uh, Legendary deck so we can get the rest of the Phantom Knight cards. That's awesome. Then, of course, we have a Slash Draw. After that, a World Legacy Discovery. Then Bombless Trap Hole. And then the Kaiju Files. So yeah, you can get a bunch of holographics from those. I always recommend Battles of Legend. Uh, you really can't go wrong with those sets. The first one's probably a little bit better, but both of them are really good. Like, they're some of the best sets we've ever had in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, I easily recommend those. And, uh, for our secret round, this one we have Glass Slippers. I think I already have, uh, yeah, I think I only have one of this so far. So, 
At least we got a second one. Not bad. Then a uh, Litmus Doom Ritual. Iron Hans. Then a Hayate the Earth Star. And then Iron Knight. So it's cool to get Iron Hans and Iron Knight together. And also, like I said, Glass Slippers. I guess it's kind of a tougher card to get. I was hoping that it was Golden Castle. I saw it was a spell card. And I was like, did I? Uh. <laughs> that is, I don't know why they made Golden Castle so tough to get. And if you're going to use Fairy Tales, I guess you need three of them. So, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. All right, next pack. And we have a Living Fossil. That's pretty cool. I like the artwork of this one. I think it's funny. So, <laughs> I like this card. Then, of course, a Foolish Burial Goods. A Rainbow Dark Dragon. Neospatial and Air Hummingbird. That was actually kind of a tougher ultra to get for me. So I think that might actually give me a playset now. And a Cyber Larva. Yeah, I'm stocking up on Neospatians because of their, you know, they're getting a new fusion in the Mega Tens. Just around the corner, too. All right, on this one, we have uh, one of the, I guess, newer cards for this one. It is Triggering Worm for a Secret Rare. It looks pretty cool. Then we have Noble Knight Medrot. Pretty happy about this reprint. That's going to help people out that want to build Noble Knights. Solemn Strike, really good reprint too. That card's still tough to get. Dark Lord Contact, and then we have Duelist Alliance. All right, we have three packs left. Like I said, either one, uh, Golden Castle or any of the number monsters would be great. Number monsters are actually really tough to get. I've had some pretty good luck though. All right, and... Well, we have Union Hanger. Man, every time I, I see a spell card and every time I fall for it, I don't know why. Because Golden Castle is not that easy to get. So <laughs> I have a hard time believing I just get it out of a few packs like this. But still, it gets me every time. But yeah, we got Union Hanger, which is still a pretty good card. Then, of course, Banishment of the Dark Lords, Eater of Millions. Then we have a Litmus Doom Swordsman and then Cyframe Driver. But yeah, that still throws me off. Like I said, I know my odds are really low of even getting it, but it still gets me. All right, next pack we have a Monster Reborn. Man, we're just going to keep getting spell cards, but this is awesome. I mean, Monster Reborn, it is at one right now. You can actually use this card, and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, Monster Reborn's great to have, so looks cool secret rare as well. Then we have Pyrorex, the Elemental Lord, uh, Alter Guy's Manifestation, Bottomless Trap Hole, and TG Wonder Magician. And now we're down to our last pack. Okay, what can we end with? Can we end with, like I said, Golden Castle or Number Monster? Those are still the ones I want to get. So, let's see. I mean, Top of Logic would be great too. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> There's quite a few cards I wouldn't mind getting. And we have uh, one of the Time Lord traps. So, unfortunately, nothing too crazy here. Infinite Machine. But, uh, I mean, the traps are pretty good. But uh, they're kind of slow to use sometimes, too. So that's the reason I didn't use them in my build. But if you can get them out there, they're pretty scary. Then we also have uh, Undany Nightmare, Cyber Italian, then Noble Knight Brothers, another good reprint, by the way, for Noble Knights, and a Pumpkin Carriage. So yeah, not too bad, though, either. I mean, like I said, with this pack, you really can't go wrong with it, either. So I, I still wonder what are the odds, really, with getting Golden Castle. It seems like, like I said, it is like one per case or something. I still, I've opened up several packs, maybe close to another box worth, and I've opened up three boxes and I haven't got one. So that kind of gives you an idea. It's not easy to get. And of course, here's the start deck. Here's kind of the card list on the back of it and everything too. As our new uh, Code Talker monster, which uh, this is a really good one to get, by the way. So uh, let's get to our cards. I know we've already opened up this, but if you haven't seen it already, then uh, here you go. And if you want more of an in-depth video, check out my first opening of it, because I'm going to talk about it more on that. And... Uh, yeah, I've been pretty excited about this one, mainly because of the Code Talker monster. And you get a Link Karibo as a common, so that's really good. But yeah, we have our Beginner's Guide right here, teaching you the rules and everything you need to know, obviously, so that will help you out. And by the way, too, I know this will probably be really simple, but if you don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! at all, I recommend getting the starter deck. Like, seriously, that's what you need to do. But if you have an idea on how to play, I think you're better off going with a structure deck. So, I know that probably sounds... Uh, you know, like something really simple that everyone knows. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people try to start off with structure decks. And if you don't understand how the game is at all, it can really confuse you. So I recommend going with the starter deck if you have no idea, especially with link summoning and stuff. But, yeah, here's the playmat. It's our new playmat, the new layout with everything. We've had this. It's not really new anymore, but we've had it for a while. This will look new to anyone that hadn't played in a while. So, yeah, it's, it's basically uh, kind of plain, simple to the point, like they do with the starter deck. 
and then we will get to our cards. So let me go ahead and fight through the plastic real quick because yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Got the cards of the plastic, so let's go through them. First one we have is one of our ultra rares that you're getting from this. This one is a Cyverse White Hat. And I gotta say, he looks pretty cool. I mean, maybe it's kind of favoritism because I'm a Texan, so, you know, he has a cowboy hat, but still, he looks awesome. So, yeah, he's basically just easy to bring out, and he can weaken your opponent's monsters, too. So, pretty awesome, actually. And again, I like his design. Then we also have Trans Code Talker. Like I said, this is a new Code Talker monster. Uh, you definitely need to get one of these. If you're going to use Cyverse, yeah, you want to get all the Code Talker monsters so you can, you know, use them like in the anime, you know, just swarm the field with them. So this is one of the better ones and one I definitely recommend picking up. I mean, it's worth getting the starter deck for it, honestly. It, and it's your other ultra rare, by the way. Then, of course, we also have Widget Kid. This is a super rare. Yeah, I, I recommend getting this one, too. Also have Signet Recovery. And this one is uh, Pentastag. This is another one of your super rares. Uh, it's a pretty good link monster, kind of generic that you can kind of use too. I mean, it just needs, uh, let's see, two effect monsters. And uh, yeah, it's kind of an okay, you know, uh, link monster. If you have the extra room, you can go for it. Let's see, we also have Leotron. This is another one of the new cards. Come in handy in the future with like Rescue Rabbit uh, or something like that. There you go, you can set up some plays with it. So I think it's pretty cool we got that. Then also we got Text Changer, like a frog looking dude. Bitron, and yeah, from the rest of this, you're going to see a lot of stuff from like the previous Star Deck. A lot of Cybers cards, obviously. So Ram Clouder, Link Slayer, Backup Secretary. So you're getting basically everything you need if you like Cybers monsters. That's pretty much the best way to do it. And then also you have some other reprints too that are just good for beginners. Like Flamefell Guard, I mean, it's just a good defensive monster. Uh, Beast King Barbaros, which has been like every Star Deck, I think, for a while now too. Still a great card though. Cyber Dragon, there you go, same with that. Acceleron Universe, seems like I see that after a while. Evil Swarms, Marshmallow, hard to get rid of, so there you go. That's going to be annoying for newer players, right? Uh, Raikou, Battle Fader, and uh, Swift Scarecrow. Then, of course, you're getting, like, Sinet Universe. You're getting a lot of different, uh, again, Cybers cards. Scapegoat, which helps you go for, like, Firewall Dragon and stuff if you want to, or just Link Summoning. Uh, Monster Reborn, it is at one right now, so getting a, you know, a common copy of it really easily is great. Uh, Dark Hole, Missile Space, I mean, a lot of the usual stuff that you're going to need. I mean, just kind of good staple cards and some other ones that are just pretty useful for a beginner. They must have uh, Sinet Regression. I believe this is another one of the newer cards. It's pretty cool. Shadow Spell. Man, it's been a while since I've seen that one. Called the Haunted Mirror Force. Yeah, it's actually in a starter deck. So that still confuses a lot of people. Yeah, you can get Mirror Force really easily nowadays. It's not like, like how it used to be. Torrential Tribute, Bottomless Trap Hole, Zero Gravity, a lot of good stuff on that. You even get a common version of Decode Talker, Link Spider, and then, of course, Link Karibo, which is basically worth the price of the Star Deck by itself. I mean, this card, when it first came out, it was like a $40 card, because it was only in Shonen Jump. I think last time I saw it, and that was recently, it's only been a couple days ago, that it was, uh, like, the holographic version was like $25. So to get a Star Deck for $10, and you get this card instantly, that's worth it right there, just that by itself. So definitely pick this up for Link Kribo. You basically just need one for different decks, so nothing too crazy there, but you can pretty much just get one of these Star Decks and get a lot of great cards for people that, you know, already know how to play the game and everything. You're getting a lot of new Cybers cards that you could use, and like Link Kribo, which is just a good Link monster. And uh, for beginners, this is what I recommend. I mean, it's always where the new Starter Deck is, is the best time to jump into the game. So let me know what you guys think about this product and everything that was in this crate. I, I think I had some, you know, not really the best luck, but the products in here are really good. So if you guys I uh, got one of these let me know how your luck was maybe you got golden castle or something i don't know I, I might be a little bit jealous though if you did <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh openings and anything new that comes out i do openings on random things like today as well and news videos and other things too so be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out and i will catch you guys later see ya